Good morning to everyone. Bezat Hashem. I mean, Hi is going to be 4.15. Please be on time. We touched upon the topic yesterday about the Deen of the Shas. When it comes from the, the, the Gemara tells us that only a Jewish life is Doche Shabbat and not saving a non-Jewish life. And we mentioned this is very important to focus on this because it is important to understand why is it true that the Gemara says that you're allowed to be Mechalei Shabbat to save a Jewish life, but not to save a non-Jewish life. And the answer is very clear, that the Jewish life, the Neshama Am Yisrael, is considered pristine, is the elite members of, Am Yisrael, of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We are special, we are unique, we are different than everybody else. And to be Mechalei Shabbat is very serious. It's obviously something that is fundamental, it's, it's a break in the world. It's a break in the creation of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. For such a serious thing to happen, you need to have a very significant reason. And that reason is to save a Jewish life. To save a Jewish life fulfills that criteria. To save a non-Jewish life, you can have a non-Jew save a non-Jewish life. You don't have to have a Jew do it. So a Jew would not be able to be Mechalei Shabbat on the Deen of the Shas. Today, it's not that the Torah changed Chas Shalom. People make a mistake and misunderstand. That's not what it is at all. In the olden times, if a Jew would save a Jew and a Goy would save a Goy, everybody would live happily because the Goyim didn't bother saving Jews anyway. Say, so we didn't save them during the week, forget Shabbat. So it was a fair system, so to speak. But today, if Jews don't save Goyim, what's going to happen is that Goyim are not going to save Jews because the communication is very, very clear and there's a lot, uh, the world is a very small place and you find out everything, and they, oh, the Jews are not willing to save Goyim, the Goyim will not save Jewish lives. So in order so that more Jewish lives will be saved, we are required to be Mechalel Shabbat in order to save non-Jewish lives. By not saving non-Jewish lives, we are actually risking Jewish lives and putting them in a position of danger. It is important to note, I want to mention one side thing, that even um, saving a Jewish life, the Gemara says, one of the reasons why you're supposed to save a Jewish life and be Mechalel Shabbat is actually not because the uh, inherent value of a Jewish life, but it's the value of Shabbat itself. Because a Jew keeps Shabbat. And if you save him and you're Mechalel one Shabbat, he's going to end up keeping many Shabbatot. So therefore, even a Jewish life, technically speaking, on its own, inherently, it seems that it wouldn't override Shabbat. It's only because that Jew will end up keeping more Shabbatot. And therefore, the mitzvah of Shabbat is worthy to save this person to be mehalel one Shabbat for many more Shabbatot. So again, we see this concept. That actually gets us into another topic, which hopefully we'll be able to discuss tomorrow, is what about people that don't keep Shabbat, that are Jewish and don't keep Shabbat? Well, even if they don't uh, keep Shabbat, we'll have to see why is it that we save a, a non-religious person's life on Shabbat. But we learned today, halacha lemaaseh, a Jew is required to save, a doctor, let's say, is required to save a Jew's life, and he's also required to be Mechalei Shabbat to save a non-Jewish person's life. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen ve'amen.